welcome everybody to this beautiful day in Bakersfield, California and this great celebration that we are going to embark on today. The American Heart Association and the Society of uh, Cardiovascular Patient Care recognize hospitals that exceed standards of care for the most severe type of heart attack. I am honored to announce that Memorial Hospital has received the American Heart Association's mission by Heart Attack Receiving Center Accreditation. This accreditation signifies Memorial Hospital's commitment to providing patients in our community with the highest quality of cardiac care. To talk more about this distinction, it is my pleasure Katie Kenny, Regional Director for Quality and System Improvement for the American Heart Association and Stroke Association covering Central and Southern California. Katie. Hello everybody and thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here today and celebrate the hospital for receiving the Mission Lifeline. They have received the Mission Lifeline Receiving Center Silver Plus Level Recognition Award. To achieve this award for the 2015 calendar year, the hospital has to be 85% compliance of a composite score with no single measure below 75% compliance for a total of 12 weeks for one year. To, um, in addition to receiving, they also get to um, be listed on the U.S. News and World Report for the designation honor of receiving the award. They've also received the accreditation status as well. And now it is my pleasure to present the award to Dr. Murray. actually talk a little bit about our program. A heart attack is a sudden interruption of the blood flow to the heart. Without oxygen, the heart muscle quickly dies. By reestablishing blood flow to the heart, we're able to limit the damage to the body. Like a clog drain that we treat with radial, we have medications that dissolve blood clots. We also have little tubes, just like a plumber snake, that we can turn to the front artery and reestablish blood flow. The only catch is that we have to apply these treatments quickly. The way to think about it is like dead grass. We see a lot of that around Bakersfield these days. Put water in your lot and it turns brown. Come back in a couple of days, the water it greens up again. Come back in a couple of weeks, you might see some green. But come back in a couple of months, that piece of dirt will still be a piece of dirt. In the heart, Start it for oxygen for a couple of minutes, and you'll know it by some discomfort in your chest. In 20 minutes, the tissue will start to die. In 12 hours, so much damage would have occurred that recovery of any heart muscle is unlikely. So, as you can imagine, it takes extraordinary resources to diagnose a heart attack. Transport the patient to a facility that can treat the heart attack then administer the proper treatment within that narrow window of time. The American Heart Association has championed the development of a system of care for heart attack victims. Paramedics and are trained to recognize the symptoms of a heart attack. They're equipped with an EKG machine in the ambulance to help diagnose a heart attack. These tracings are transmitted to a receiving center at the Memorial Hospital where emergency room doctors can confirm the heart attack and alert a special heart attack team of the, the incoming patient. By the time the patient arrives in Memorial Hospital, the crew is ready to see the patient. In 2014, the average time for a doctor to convert a tiny balloon of the leg artery to the beating heart and open a completely excluded artery was 20 minutes in our hospital. It is because of this amazing teamwork the American Heart Association recognizes Memorial Hospital. The program in Mobile in terms of time to treatment and outcome is equal to programs in Los Angeles, San Francisco, and New York. <coughs> but unlike these large metropolitan cities, Bakersfield is better suited for this kind of therapy with staff living minutes away from the hospital. Although we're surrounded by oil fields and farms, the equipment we have to perform these life-saving procedures are state-of-the-art. Truly blessed with experienced staff and our nursing staff to the country. So 
let me leave you with a story of why these men and women deserve this recognition. Earlier this year, one of the paramedics, as he was driving away from the hospital, saw out of the corner of his eye a man collapsed in the parking lot. He stopped his brake in the middle of the circle, ran up to the man, only to find him without a pulse. He started CPR while his partner and child helped him in the yard. They were able to restart the fire when shop. He came to show the heart attack. Within minutes, the man was on the cap out table. The cardiologist was able to open the heart attack larger. This man's alive today because of the quick thinking of the paramedics, the expertise of the ER, the skill of the cardiologist, all working together in the state of our facility. And that's our system of care. Thanks to everybody. Thank everybody for coming. And there's refreshments. Uh,